You're about to write something very different, which is the theme song for a James Bond film. How did that come about? Yes, it's um, it's great. Actually, it's a funny story how it came about because um, it was uh, I was rather drunk at this, uh, which is very rare for me actually. But um, I was drunk at a party. I think Michael Caine had some restaurant, and uh, I was really drunk. And I saw Cubby Broccoli in the corner, and I thought, this is it's now or never, you know. And uh, I sort of went up to him and introduced myself. I said, I'm John from Duran Duran. It's a great pleasure to meet you. I'm a great fan of your films, but when are you going to have a decent theme tune again? You know, because <laughs> the last few have been terrible. You know, and he's like the guy's like, huh? Hey, what? Who's this guy? You know, and uh, it, it, we, then he said, well, actually, yeah, you may have a point there, John. Uh, Maybe we should get together. And uh, so then we met at Pinewood, and I sort of gradually blagged them into it. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, I mean, I just hope it turns out well, because um, I, I, it's something I've obviously always wanted to do. When you read things like the Warner Brothers story, and you go through all the great movies, and it has the, all the titles, uh, all the credits, you know, and who the music was written by. And I thought, well, if in 50 years' time, someone who read a James Bond story would be sort of in music history, if you like. And that, that's one of the things that really appeals to me about it, is that people are going to remember you because it is such a big thing, you know, a James Bond movie. People aren't going to be able to get away from us for at least 20 years because it's going to be written in books and the movie will be on TV, no doubt, and video. So it's something for the kids, really, isn't it? I mean, my son, when he grows up, you know, he'll be able to watch and go, oh, that's my dad. And 